Patrick's crew finishes up at St. Paul's and later, after a short five-minute walk through the streets of Montego Bay, we arrive at our next stop, St. James Parish. A much older building than the one we just left, St. James Parish dates from the mid-19th century. It is clear that there is a big problem going on with the wind in this organ, and Patrick's crew members have already gotten to the bottom of it. In fact, bottom is the problem. The wind support drops out whenever the organ is played loudly. They ask me to play in a way that will draw lots of wind through the pipes and which will cause the organ to bottom out. There it goes. This is the end of the wind reserve. While I play, Patrick's crew prepares to take a closer look. Strangely, the organ is fine on fast notes, as in this toccata, although the action is quite stiff. As I continue to play in my sneakers, I discover that it is the use of low sustained pedal pitches that bottoms out the wind the fastest. This test is not unlike that often made use of by the great Johann Sebastian Bach. When he tested an organ, he would pull out all the stops and play big chordal harmonies. Introducing the culprit, a tired old electric blower. Patrick's crew removes the old blower from its dingy cage and installs a new, compact, efficient electric turbine in its place. The old blower is now retired. With the new blower installed, all the air pressures in the organ have changed and hence a thorough retuning of all pipes is necessary. With tuning near completion, the organ is ready to play at its own dedication ceremony. Yeah.